The Philippines is embracing advancement in technology as it enters the fourth industrial revolution. Our correspondent Bim Santos is at the e-commerce show over at the SMX Convention Center with more. How's it going over there, Bim? How do you accommodate technological innovation without compromising the security and the integrity of the financial system? This is one of the key questions tackled at the plenary conference here at the e-commerce show at SMX in Pasay. Speakers from the tech scene, both local and international, spoke of ways how technology can expand access while lowering costs. But JD Zone, manager of the Central Bank Supervisory Policy Department, noted the importance of regulatory frameworks to protect consumers in particular and the industry in general. Deason said that to ensure this balance, BSP maintains a risk-based policy approach that weighs possible risks of a new technology against its possible advantages. In doing so, Deason said the BSP is aiming to have a progressive policy that also aims to protect financial and even digital inclusion. Also early today, an online community and resource portal dubbed ePay was launched to, to spur wider adoption of electronic payments in the country. As according to a study by USAID, a measly 2% of respondents in a recent survey have used the internet to make payments. ePay is a joint project of USAID together with the Credit Card Association of the Philippines, Digital Commerce Association of the Philippines, DALG, and DSWD. So to talk more about this conference and what to expect, with, we have with us right now Ms. Sharon Rosen, Managing Director of Therapy in Asia, the events organizer. Hi, Sharon. Hi. So could you talk about the context of why you're holding this, this event here in the Philippines? Um, yeah, I mean, we run this event in Singapore also, but the Philippines offers such a really interesting market. There's a large population, a large growing middle class, very digitally savvy, high mobile penetration, and, um, and open to foreign investment. So a lot of companies are looking here, and there's a, a great desire to go cashless here. Um, and with, with the technology, the Philippines, I believe, will, will leapfrog many other Asian nations that have got a lot of legacy that they have to, have to deal with. Just being a two-day event, could you give us a round, rundown of the highlights of what to look forward to later today and perhaps tomorrow? Yeah, uh, we've had a great day today. We've got over 2,500 people registered, from mainly from the Philippines, but from all over the Philippines. Tomorrow, we are really looking forward to the CEOs of both Lazada and Zalora speaking in the morning, two big Asian e-commerce giants, and both from the Philippines. That's really probably the highlight of tomorrow. Thanks, Sharon. A ton, ton of things to look forward to. Back to you guys in the studio. Thank you very much for that, Bim.